State governments in India are the government's ruling states of India and the head of the Council of Ministers in a state is Chief Minister. Power is divided between the central government and state governments. While the central government handles military and external affairs etc., whereas the state government deals with internal security through state police and other state issues. Income for the central government is from customs duty, excise tax, income tax etc., while state government income comes from sales tax VAT, stamp duty. Now these have been subsumed under SGST, GST—components of GST. Each state has a legislative assembly. A state legislature that has one house, known as Vidhan Sabha or Legislative Assembly, is a unicameral legislature. A state legislature that has two houses known as Vidhan Sabha and Vidhan Parishad, is a bicameral legislature. The Vidhan Sabha is the lower house and corresponds to the Lok Sabha. The Vidhan Parishad is the upper house and corresponds to the Rajya Sabha. The Sarkaria Commission was set up to review the balance of power between states and the Union. The central government can dissolve a state government in favor of President's rule if necessary. The state of Jammu and Kashmir has higher autonomy compared to other states by virtue of Article 370. Legislatures For every state, there is a legislature, which consists of governor and one house or, two houses as the case may be, one in Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh, there are two houses known as Legislative Council and Legislative Assembly. In the remaining states, there is only one house known as Legislative Assembly. Parliament may, by law, provide for abolition of an existing Legislative Council or for creation of one where it does not exist, if proposal is supported by a resolution of the Legislative Assembly concerned. The Legislative Council of a state comprises not more than one-third of total number of members in Legislative Assembly of the state and in no case fewer than 40 members Legislative Council of Jammu and Kashmir has 36 members vid Section 50 of the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir about one third of members of the council are elected by members of legislative assembly from amongst persons who are not its members, one third by electorates consisting of members of municipalities, district boards and other local authorities in the state, one twelfth by electorate consisting of persons who have been, for at least three years, engaged in teaching in educational institutions within the state not lower in standard than secondary school and a further one twelfth by registered graduates of more than three years standing. Remaining members are nominated by governor from among those who have distinguished themselves in literature, science, art, cooperative movement and social service. Legislative councils are not subject to dissolution but one-third of their members retire every second year. The Legislative Assembly of a state consists of not more than 500 and not fewer than 60 members Legislative Assembly of Sikkim has 32 members, while Puducherry has 32, Goa and Mizoram have 40 seats each vide Article 371F of the Constitution chosen by direct election from territorial constituencies in the state. Demarcation of territorial constituencies is to be done in such a manner that the ratio between population of each constituency and number of seats allotted to it, as far as practicable, is the same throughout the state. Term of an assembly is five years unless it is dissolved earlier. <laughs> Powers and functions State legislature have exclusive powers over subjects enumerated in List 2 of the Seventh Schedule of the Constitution and concurrent powers over those enumerated in List 3. Financial powers of legislature include authorization of all expenditure, taxation and borrowing by the state government. Legislative Assembly alone has power to originate money bills. Legislative Council can make only recommendations in respect of changes it considers necessary within a period of 14 days of the receipt of money bills from Assembly. Assembly can accept or reject these recommendations. The Governor of a state may reserve any bill for the consideration of the President. Bills relating to subjects like compulsory acquisition of property, measures affecting powers and position of high courts and imposition of taxes on storage, distribution and sale of water or electricity in interstate river or river valley development projects should necessarily be so reserved. No bills seeking to impose restrictions on interstate trade can be introduced in a state legislature without previous sanction of the President. 
State legislatures, apart from exercising the usual power of financial control, use all normal parliamentary devices like questions, discussions, debates, adjournments and no-confidence motions and resolutions to keep a watch over day-to-day -day work of the executive. They also have their committees on estimates and public accounts to ensure that grants sanctioned by legislature are properly utilized. There is, overall, 4,120 assembly seats in states and union territories in India. Andhra Pradesh abolished its Legislative Council in 1984, but has set up a new Legislative Council following elections in 2007. Membership and terms of office Asterisk asterisk for Jammu and Kashmir Assembly term is six years. Topic Politics Topic State governments in India see the presence of both national and regional parties. As of 24 May 2018, the National Democratic Alliance is in power in 21 states, the United Progressive Alliance is in power in three states and one union territory, the CPI is in power in one state, rest of the states with regional parties. Executive <inaudible> 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 State executive consists of Governor Council of Ministers with Chief Minister as its head and Advocate General. The Governor of a state is appointed by the President for a term of five years and holds office during his pleasure. Only Indian citizens above 35 years of age are eligible for appointment to this office. Executive power of the state is vested in Governor. Council of Ministers the Chief Minister is appointed by the Governor who also appoints other Ministers on the advice of the Chief Minister. The Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to Legislative Assembly of the State. Council of Ministers with Chief Minister as head aides and advises Governor in exercise of his functions except insofar as he is by or under the Constitution required to exercise his functions or any of them in his discretion. In respect of Nagaland, Governor has special responsibility under Article 371A of the Constitution with respect to law and order and even though it is necessary for him to consult Council of Ministers in matters relating to law and order, he can exercise his individual judgment as to the action to be taken. Similarly, in respect of Arunachal Pradesh, Governor has special responsibility under Article 371H of the Constitution with respect to law and order and in discharge of his functions in relation thereto. Governor shall, after consulting Council of Ministers, exercise his individual judgment as to the action to be taken. These are, however, temporary provisions if President, on receipt of a report from Governor or otherwise is satisfied that it is no longer necessary for Governor to have special responsibility with respect to law and order, he may so direct by an order. Likewise, in the sixth schedule which applies to tribal areas of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram as specified in para 20 of that schedule, discretionary powers are given to Governor in matters relating to sharing of royalties between district council and state government. Sixth Schedule vests additional discretionary powers in governors of Mizoram and Tripura in almost all their functions except approving regulations for levy of taxes and money lending by non-tribal by district councils since December 1998. In Sikkim, governor has been given special responsibility for peace and social and economic advancement of different sections of population. All governors while discharging such constitutional functions as appointment of chief minister of a state or sending a report to president about failure of constitutional machinery in a state or in respect of matters relating to assent to a bill pass Judiciary <inaudible> 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 State high courts have jurisdiction over the whole state, but report to the Supreme Court of India, which may override the high court's judgments and rulings. See also List of current Indian chief ministers Federalism in India Politics of India Principal Secretary India References 